The number one question that we get whenever we have a Bank and Creek bag that features topwater lures is how do you make these topwater lures work correctly? Well, today we're going to answer that question. We're going to go through each topwater lure that's in the September and October kit. We're going to break them down for you and show you how to use them. Lure number one, we've got the Rebel Buzzing Frog. This is a really unique buzzing style topwater lure. What it is, it looks just like a bullfrog. You got the anatomically correct top on it. You got these swinging legs in the back that lets it plop along the surface and it floats as well. This is a great lure to get the first time topwater angler on so they can cast it out, they can reel it on top, and they can see the bites. How I like to fish this dude, I got it on my trusty spinning rod. I got braided line. Braided line is an absolute must with this. You want zero stretch. You're just going to find you a nice hole of water. It's best if it has grass or some type of cover. going to cast this dude out and you're going to reel it back. Quick tip with the buzzing frog, keep this thing moving fast. The faster you move this dude, I promise you the more bites you're going to get. And when you get a bite, you can stop it and this thing's going to float on top of the surface and they might come back and get it again. All right, guys, we're going to switch from the Rebel Buzzing Frog. All I know is you need to have your heart medicine if you're going to throw this in the morning. It gets so many blowups as you've already seen. We're going to switch to the Head and Zara Puppy and show you how to use a walking bait. All right, we got our second type of topwater lure from the September and October kit. We got a walking bait. And what that means, this bait, whenever you throw it out, it sits on top of the water. You pop your rod tip and this thing's going to walk back and forth. It's called walking the dog. This is the Head and Zara Puppy. This is a small spook-like top water. It's in the custom color BC Bullfrog. This thing looks amazing. Let's get it out there and catch some fish. This Zara Puppy, or a walking bait in general, is perfect if you're needing to cover a ton of water. If you're fishing deep pockets and streams, if you're fishing a really big pond where you need to cast far and work the bait over cover that you can't see, this puppy is what you need to be throwing. A walking bait is also really great for clear or slightly stained water because this bait's good for bringing up fish from a distance, calling them out, but this one is silent, so I wouldn't recommend it for dirty water. A walking style topwater is probably one of the more difficult topwater lures to work correctly. What you want to do is you're going to cast it out. You're going to have a slack line. I like to use braided line. It's just my favorite. They're zero stretch. And you're going to pop your rod tip either to the left or right, you know, whatever hand that you have. And you're going to make that thing dance back and forth. Dance, dance, dance. It's just going to pop. It's just going to sashay right along the top. You can work it slow. You can work it fast. Whichever way you want, depending upon the activity of the bass. I like to start out slow working it slow, and if I notice they're, you know, they're really fighting for it, I'm gonna start working that bait really quick. Maybe I'll put in a, st a pause or a stop in there. There's so many ways that you can fish this bait and it draws so many bites. Oh my gosh, I got him that time. I got him, Devin. Get in here, buddy. <laughs> if you wanna catch bass on top, man, a walking bait is a great choice. Let's jump into our next topwater lure in the bag. All right, number three, we're moving on to the next style of topwater lure in the September and October kit. We've got a prop bait here. This is the Hedden Baby Torpedo in clear. Prop baits, all they are, just a floating topwater lure, and they have a prop, either one or two of them on there. Totally different way you fish this bait. Let's get into it. Prop baits like this baby torpedo, this is what I call a medium retrieve topwater. You got your fast retrieve topwaters like your Zara Puppy, your walking baits, or your buzzing baits like the buzzing frog. You're going to reel really fast. This one, you're not going to reel it slow or fast. You're just going to bring it back to you, give slow pops of your rod tip on that slack line. It's going to cause this bait to kind of dart and dive. Well, you're going to give about one or two seconds between each pop. You're just going to bring it right back to you. Oh, man. Why do you choose a torpedo or a prop bait? Well, attitude change. If you notice bass aren't wanting to hit a walking bait, a buzz bait, popper, this is a great lure to give out there and just see if they want it. Attitude change. It straight catches them, dude. Prop bait is the most natural looking topwater. You want to pick this up, just like this baby torpedo, if you're fishing a super calm, non-windy spot. Because that little glide across the top, the, the tiny bit of disturbance it gives off, it looks just like a shad or a bluegill just kind of blooping the surface. All right, our final topwater choice that we're going to showcase and show you how to use is a popping style topwater. We've got the legendary Arbogast Hula Popper in the color Coach Dog. This is a great bait, casting out next to pieces of cover and working very slowly. This is a slow moving topwater like we've had our medium moving topwater, our fast moving topwater. This is your slow. How you work this style of bait? Well, it's pretty much in the Hula Popper's name. You're going to cast it out and you're going to pop it. 
you're gonna have your slack and your rod tip just like most of the other top waters. You're gonna pop it. But I like to move this bait slow. So I'll give it about three, four, even five seconds sometimes. Pop it again. And I'm just gonna work it as slowly as possible around a piece of cover. Get in here. Come on, buddy. Woo! Smallmouth like the popper. Guys, that puts a close to the top four types of topwaters and how to fish them. All four of these are available in the Banking Creek Kit for September and October. You need to get one. You need to try them all out. Use some of these techniques we showed you and catch some fish.